All Atlantic salmon sold in British supermarkets comes from fish farms like this. Investigators for Viva campaigns have filmed at five farms, owned by three major salmon producers, supplying Asda, Co-op, M&S, Sainsbury's and Tesco. Monstrous invasions of parasitic sea lice and blooms of jellyfish were found plaguing the Scottish lochs during an unprecedented marine heatwave. Sea lice are small crustaceans, a natural parasite that occurs in low numbers in the wild. Yet the intensification of salmon farming has led to population explosions with catastrophic consequences. Salmon farms confining hundreds of thousands of fish in fowl cages create ideal conditions for sea lice to rampantly reproduce. The crustaceans feed on the salmon's skin, mucus and blood, causing skin lesions, loss of scales, secondary infection and ultimately death. With billions of sea lice inevitably making their way into the wider marine environment, migrating wild salmon also fall victim to the surge. All the farms in Viva's footage were battling high levels of sea lice, as well as complex gill and bacterial disease requiring chemical and freshwater treatments. Hydrolysers, like the Helen Mary, pump the salmon through a washing machine type system that blasts off the lice with freshwater jets. Although the salmon industry continues to endorse hydrolyser effectiveness, tens of thousands of fish are killed in the process. Extraordinarily high sea temperatures in 2023 have led NOAA to classify waters around the UK and Ireland as experiencing a Category 4 extreme marine heatwave. And it's likely to worsen, further impacting the health and welfare of millions of fish crammed inside putrid sea cages. Algae blooms sap oxygen from the water and swarms of jellyfish have already been blamed for the doubling of farm salmon deaths in 2022. The gruesome reality of fish farming is a stomach-churning disaster. Plant-based alternatives have all of the taste but none of the cruelty. Try going vegan today. <laughs>